Now there is nothing stopping you taking your phone, getting the right adapter, plugging your stuff into that adapter, pressing go live, and you're live streaming. However, I found something that will up your game to the massive next milestone, and it's this. This is the Yolo Box Pro by Yolo Live. It's called a portable multi-cam live streaming studio. You don't need a computer, and as long as you've got a couple of cameras, you don't actually need any adapters either. And it's right here. So I've actually got it here, and I've already unboxed it, and you can see me in the reflection, hello. <laughs> this thing is no short of insane. It's an awesome product right from the get-go. I'm not paid to say that. Yolo Box have sent me this for review. They're not paying for this review. They've just said, hey, check it out. It's a tablet and it's my first Android device. And it's got loads of connectivity with it. And I'm gonna walk you through the outside of it first before we even get into the box. So on the sides, it's actually nothing other than air vents. On the bottom, we've got a thread for a tripod mount, an SD card slot, and we've also got a SIM card slot. Yes, that's right, it can take a SIM card, so therefore we can live stream without a Wi-Fi. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Then finally, on the bottom is the power button, but it's the top of this live streaming studio that makes it a live streaming studio. Have a look at this. So I've turned it round so the screen is actually facing away from me. Look at the inputs on this thing. So we've got one, two, three HDMIs, We've got a USB in, we've got Ethernet, we've got HDMI out to output what you're doing on this box to somewhere else. You've got a Type-C for going to a Type-C computer. You've got a headphone jack, microphone and line in, and finally a USB-C for charging. So if you've got cameras with a HDMI output, you've got webcams that are USB, or you've got an iPhone, for example, with a, a HDMI adapter, you could plug it into this thing. When we boot it up, because it's got a battery inside, it's a 10,000 milliamp battery, we get this. This just says YOLO Live. So I've zoomed in on the top-down camera just so you can see what I'm doing. But when you go onto it for the first time, you're kind of presented with this. No internet connection, please connect your network settings, swipe down to refresh. Now you can connect it to your Wi-Fi, but you can also connect it to the 4G SIM. Imagine you're actually live streaming at a venue which doesn't have Wi-Fi. You're live streaming in a field, or you're live streaming in someone's community hall, and they go, sorry, we don't have Wi-Fi. As long as you've got 4G signal on your phone, technically you could take your SIM card out the phone, put it in this, and live stream from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the top right hand corner and have a look there and this is your account settings so you'll see that i've actually already made the account with it and i've logged in and initially you can connect for live streaming to facebook youtube twitch and an rtmp link yolo live actually have a way you can multi-stream as well so you don't have to stream to just one place you can stream to all three so as you can see here i've got an account with them we can see about the device we can see network settings we can upgrade the version we can see the time language, recordings, system updates, FAQs, I can rotate the screen and log out. Rotating the screen might be useful for you because you've actually got the connection there for a tripod, but you might want to have it obviously with all the connections at the top might be coming out. You might want to have it that way around so all the connections are actually underneath and they sort of fall through and you can cable manage them very easily. So for now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to my Wi-Fi. Go into network settings. You can even do a network test, which is really handy. And I'm just gonna switch it on for my Wi-Fi. Cool, connected to Wi-Fi, and then we can go back. <laughs> Every time I turn this box on, there is a new feature. They are so cool with this, and it's not a negative thing to say there's another firmware update. This is a fantastic thing, and they keep upgrading the features. And I've been speaking with Yola Live, and I've said to them, the one thing that's missing for musicians is to be able to switch your cameras from one camera to another without having to touch it. And I said, can you please put that back over to the development team? That was two weeks ago. I've just switched this thing back on to do the review after I've been playing with it and obviously given them some feedback. And I'm just doing this live. I wasn't going to put this in the video, but why not? 1.7 packs the same punch as the previous update. What's new? Auto switching optimized by adding the loop feature and redefining the switching order and the main source specified. And two weeks later, it's here. So this is perfect for musicians. There's a couple of other updates. They keep adding overlays. They keep adding built-in effects. So I'm going to actually do the update right now and install it. 
Now, if you're live streaming with this thing, this thing can record by SD card slot. And that means it can record both the video and the audio. And what you could do is you could put those live streams out there in the world. So if you're performing and you're doing a live stream, you can actually publish them and send them out to places like Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon. But how are you gonna do that? I'm so glad you asked because that's where our sponsor comes in for today's video, which is DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution company where you give your songs or the audio from your live streams out to them and they can push it out to all the music sites around the world. Imagine you do a weekly live stream and that people actually want to hear it on Spotify or they want to hear it on Apple Music. And then if you're doing all your original music, you could actually push that out to all the digital stores around the world. Now, when you release music, you need a distributor. So that's where these guys come in. And normally what distributors do is they charge you per release. DistroKid have a different concept for that. And what they do is they push it out with one price per year and you can release as much music as you want. That could be albums, singles, EPs. You could even do a live stream as a single or an album and they charge one price per year which is $19.99. And with the link that's on the screen right now you can actually save 7% off your first annual membership. They do a couple of other tiers as well. They do one called Musicians Plus which is what I'm on where you can have two different outfits. So me as John Paul, I've got my other one which is Tokyo Wasteland, which is synthwave music if you want to check that out. And Musician Plus with District Kid is $35.99. That way you can have two different outfits, but you can also dictate the date of the release. And if you run a label and you're running loads of different music for loads of different people, then you can actually get a label tier as well. And still with that link, you're going to get 7% off no matter which tier you choose. So if you're thinking about releasing your live streams or releasing your live shows or your EPs or your albums or your singles, check out the link below, check out District Kid and start distributing your music today. Thank you very much to District Kid for sponsoring this video. Now, it literally took about a minute and a half to do the update. If I go to upgrade, it now says I'm on 1.7. So now we've got the Wi-Fi and we're all logged in. This is where I'm gonna have to make a confession. In order to test this to make sure it works, I have to do a live stream and I've been testing it with you guys. I've been doing a live stream which is called Tuesday Tunes with JP. And the one that came out on the 10th of May was the one that I actually used this box. I didn't use a computer. I only used this and I used two cameras. One is a webcam that I plugged in by a USB as opposed to HDMI. And the other one was my my iPhone plugged in with an adapter. So you can see here, I have to tell you this because as you can see right there, Tuesday Tunes with JP ended Tuesday Tunes with JP and the test. So you can actually see that I actually made this and I actually did it as a live stream. And it was great, it was fantastic, and it worked flawlessly. I used the 4G, I didn't use my home Wi-Fi, and it worked absolutely fine. The one thing I like about the UI about this is it's always really, really simple, and you've got the upstream, the downstream, the time, what it's connected to, and it'll show you a little 4G SIM card. And it also shows you the battery. Now, I know that's obvious, but it's really, really handy if you're live streaming and you're looking at the battery going, how much charge have I got left? So these have ended, so of course what I need to do is clone one or make a brand new one. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it as if I've never had one before and I'm going to make a brand new one with you. So we click the big plus and it actually gives us two options. You can live stream or you can actually use this device as a camera monitor. So if you want to put it, plug it in as a camera monitor and just monitor your camera, that's absolutely fine as well. So if you're not live streaming, you might just want to use it in monitor mode. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go create live stream. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to call this YOLO box review. I'm not gonna put a description in, but you can do, and it will copy that over to places like YouTube and Facebook. And you can also schedule it and put a date in. I'm not gonna do that either. So we're just gonna click create, just so we can get in. So it's there right now, and we'll just tap it to open it. Again, throughout the whole process, this is up here, and this is fantastic because you need to know, obviously, what the battery's doing and what the upload and download speed is. So right now, it's asking us to connect to somewhere, and of course, I've been connecting to YouTube, but the other one is Restream, and that is an RTMP link. But for now, we're going to go through where things are. I'm going to set up a live stream. So the first one is actually here, and this is your overlays. Now, there are some overlays that are built in, and they come over via the air over the updates, but there's also, you can import your own. So you can do things like overlays, you can do things like pictures, you can do things like logos, titles, you can import a video if you want to and it'll play automatically. It's really clever. If I just tap on one of these, it would come up and this is my preview window and here are my video sources. Of course, I've got nothing plugged in yet and I can untap it and it will just happen. There's a nice little timer, what option? And you set the timer and it'll automatically start counting down. If I was to bring this up, that is my background picture. If I scroll down a little bit here, 
If you watched on the 10th of May, you would have started to see this one, and that is my little YouTube card there for Tuesday Tunes. And I've got a couple of other ones as well, because of course I've got things that are sponsored. But if you want to add another one, there's a plus button, and it just says, what do you want to do? So we've got things like image overlays, lower thirds, countdown timer, web URL overlays. If you've got web URL overlays from places like Twitch, you can just overlay them straight away, which is really handy. Titles and social overlays. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a lower third, and we can have a look here. There's a couple of different lower thirds, a couple of new ones uh, that have just popped up with this new version. So I'm just going to put my name. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to give it a tap. So now we're editing this. This is your preview window, and all the information you need is here. So it says title, chief support. There we go. So I've just changed that over John Paul and put that as John Paul Music K. There's a couple of different fonts. It starts with Roboto, and you've got a couple of different ones. What I really like about that as well is it shows you what the font looks like. It doesn't just title them. You've got to select one and go, does it work? So you can see what the font actually looks like before you select it. I know it's obvious, but it's just a simple thing that's really nice. So let's use that one. There we go. Nice. And we're going to then go, through. that's just for the title font, and we can change the title size. So we can actually have that a little bit smaller. And then the title color. So we can actually go into this. Let's change it to purple. Why not? There we go. And then the subtitle font is actually bigger, but we'll use prompt. There we go. And then I'm going to have the background color again as a purple color. Cool. I'm happy with that. So I can just click done. And it's an overlay. So of course, if I was to tap on here, it will come up. But it won't obviously fill the screen. It'll just be in where we've put it. And of course, if you've got a camera plugged in, that leads me nicely on to let's plug in a camera. So to keep things simple, what I'm going to plug in is this. This is the Ozbot Tiny, and this is a little webcam that can also track you as well, which is really handy if you're moving around. I did a review on the Ozbot Tiny, so if you want to have a look at that, I'm going to put it in the cards now. So all I'm going to do is plug this in by USB, and it'll actually draw the power. Now bear in mind, if you've got a USB webcam and it doesn't have its own power, it will draw the power from the Yola Box Pro, so it will take a little bit of juice out of the 10,000 milliamp battery. So I've just set it up down here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug it in by USB. So as you can see now, I've got the camera plugged in, and this is one that tracks me, so if I move around, you can see the room and stuff. Uh, and I've got my phone just here, that I was out of shot on this, but it's not out of shot on there, um, but you can see that's actually my top-down camera for today. You can see it's selected, and it's there, and this is my video source. Now what I can do is, I can select my, my source here, so if I tap on here, you can see that comes up. There we go, John Paul, hi. So now we've got a video source, you can actually see, I just want to point out the top here, you've actually got an option here for the volume, you can see the volume's coming in, there's a microphone coming in now because there's a microphone on the camera. It says 1080, you can actually click on there and we can go 720 or 480 if you want to. If you click this little arrow here, that will take you out of this and it will take you out of the live stream environment. Then finally, we've got record, so you can record to SD card and you've got go live and that is actually going live and you can record and go live at the same time. The next one across at the bottom here is where we started and it's actually platforms where you want to connect to. So you can just tap it, it'll ask you to log in and it'll just connect to the internet and log in, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch. If it's an RTMP link, what you have to do is you have to go to YOLO Live's website. There's a dedicated uh, website for that and then you put in the key and the stream key and everything else and then it comes up here. That's why you need an account with this box so we can send the RTMP link to the account and then you can just select it. The next one along is audio. And right now we've got the full mixer audio here and as you scroll through you can see all the different ones we've got mic in line in hdmi one two and three and then we've got usb audio coming from the camera and that's why we've got this bouncing up and down here this is where you need to be a bit careful when you're a musician because if you plug everything else in then you may need to play around with what the audio is doing when i did the live stream on the 10th of may i did notice it was a little bit hot it was a little bit um, over so i should have pulled that down a little bit and that's just learning for me you've also got sd card video so if you imported a video then you've got the audio for that video here. So this is your audio mixer, and obviously right at the bottom there, the live stream itself. So as you do the live stream, you could just pull the whole thing down without having to bring everything else down. You could have everything set and just adjust the live stream volume. Now the next one, I don't know if I would use, but this is a scoreboard, and this is actually for uh, sports. If, the, if you're gonna be live streaming sports, you can actually put a scoreboard up on the actual thing and move it around to where you want. So let's put it there, for example. You can make it a bit wider if you want. And I'm just gonna go full screen 
There you go, so that's what it would look like. And then what you can do as well is you can go into the scoreboard and you can give the team names. And then as someone scores, you can hit the button and it'll go 1, 1-0, one 2-0, nil, 3-0, nil, nil, whatever. Um, so you can do that and you can actually hey team 1 just scored. There we go. And you can see there it's just gone up by 1. But for now, we'll get rid of scoreboard display because I'm not really going to use that. The next one is comments, which is really, really cool. If you're using your phone, whether it's an Android device or an iOS device, you want the rear camera. You want the best camera you can have because that's the better quality. But now you can't see the screen. So if you're using your phone into this, you can now see the comments on the YOLO box without having to look at any other device. The next one is switching and we've got auto switch and this is the brand new feature that I've not even tried out yet and I'm so so happy that they've taken this on board. If you're playing a guitar you're singing for three four minutes you've got a camera there and you've got a camera there and you want them to gently switch between each other let's just try it let's just turn it on. So we go video sources USB done there we go and it will just auto switch and you can say how many seconds it's for. Eh. So you can say every 30 seconds it switches from like a wide camera to like the camera view, just your face or just the guitar or just a keyboard, whatever you want. That's really, really cool. You can do it in sequential order. So you can either do it in random order, you can do a sequential, that's cool, I like that. Uh, so it's like someone switching for you. This is your director. That's really nice, I like that. You've also got the main source video as well. So you can say, well, there's none, but there's a main one. So as you turn it off, it'll go back to the main one. So you could dictate that the USB camera is the main one, and then you've got other ones. And as you turn it back off again, it'll default back to this one. And then finally, settings. So what you can do is you can say video sort switching mode, SD card switching settings. So let's have a look at that. So continue playing when switching. You can pause as well. So if it's you're playing a video and then you switch to a different camera, it could pause the video and then go back to that camera. Or you could say, no, 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 carry on playing because I'm just setting something up for the next scene. So that's really good. SD card management, of course, you can record as well. So there's no SD card in here right now, but if you plug one in, you can actually record as well as import a load of stuff. So if you've got stuff on SD card, plug it in, and uh, you can get all your pictures, all your overlays, put it in here and it'll import the lot. Program out is really, really interesting because what you can do is you can actually send this out to wherever you are. Now, right now, if you send it out, it will actually look like this, but if you go program out, then it will only show the display. It won't show you all the switching or everything else. So if you wanted to send this out to someone like OBS, or you wanted to send it out to someone else who's got another device that they're streaming from, that's really cool. And also you can do this by USB-C. Obviously, that way you can actually outsource this to somewhere else. You've also got transitions. So you've got video source transitions. So you can obviously, if you transition from one to another, you've got different wipes, fades, directional wipes, slicing, uh, simple zoom, cross zoom, squeeze, flip page, and cube. So you can have a play around with them and obviously see which one you think is best. And this is also where you've got the streaming mode. So if you haven't got something like Restream, then what you can do is if you go streaming mode, you can say single stream, obviously to one place, or you can use Yolo Live's multi-streaming service. And that's built into the system. There's no additional charge for that. You just start using it and it works. You've got video output mode, you've got encoding settings, if you know what you're doing with all that. They just recommended obviously CBR because that's the most recognized version, but you can change the encoding settings and you can set recording limits. So obviously automatically the video will be recorded and saved every 10 minutes, 20 minutes, every 60 minutes, or just continuously. It says to prevent losing the complete recording due to unexpected interruptions, they suggest the 10 minute option. As you start adding more things like more cameras, what's really, really cool is you can obviously start playing with the transitions. Also. I I've actually set up a couple of different things like overlays. So for example, like I said before, I've got this five minute timer and what's really, really cool about it is that it fades out the background, but I can still add a background anyway. So you can kind of just see me there in the back with the USB camera. If I put this in, that's how I started Tuesday Tunes. So you've got the Tuesday Tunes logo uh, or the, 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 the graphic there. And then I actually just started the camera with five minutes to go. And you can have one that says be right back uh, as well as starting soon. You can customize all of this. So you could start this up with a couple of icons or things you've got. So I've got this one or you've got this one where I can move this across. This is my sort of background as it were. I could put something on top of that. So just for demonstration reasons, we've still got our uh, USB camera here, which is obviously high. And I've just plugged in the iPad. So I've plugged in the iPad via HDMI and I can switch over to this and woomph. 
Ha! That is that a quick zoom. Let's change that. I'm not sure if I like that. Um, let's change. That's cool though. Maybe I might be able to use that actually. Really, as long as it's really short. Let's just do a fade for now, and then we can move across from one to the other. There we go. Let's do a uh, half second fade so it's nice and quick. There we go. Cool. So this is now my iPad and I'm just using my iPad on it. That's fine. But what if I want to do something with the two cameras? Well, what you can do is when you go add video source, if you give this a click, it now shows you all the different things you can do. You can obviously add things like an SD card, live stream, add a live stream in. You've got PDF, maybe you've got that set up like a keynote or PowerPoint presentation, just page by page. But what you can also do is multi views. So we've got picture in picture, we've got split view, side by side and news layout. Let's go with news and layout so we can have the iPad as the main screen but then my face as a smaller screen, let's do that. So now it's saying we'll select the source. So what I want is I want the HDMI as the big one and we want the USB as the smaller one. And there we go. So we've actually got this set up now. So these are here. So I can obviously point this way and go over there, have a look at that. And we've got a background color. We can actually just pick it as black, but let's just pick it as purple because I just like doing that. You could even have a background image if you wanted to. And then you can also change the opacity. There you go, background opacity. So we can actually just go a little bit like that. There we go. Or we can just go done. And there it is, news layout. So if I pick this now, it'll swap over and I could do things like, for example, I have stuff set up as a text scroll. So let's add that in. So while I'm talking underneath, you've actually got here, uh, I'm pointing at like something directional. I'm talking about, I don't know, Loopy Pro or something, or I'm talking about a new app. And then what I can do is I can live stream over here and it's following my face. This is great, very useful with a camera that follows you as well, of course, but you don't have to have a camera that follows you. It's just a nice added bonus. Sort of the downsides. Well, there's no real downsides. There's just a couple of things that actually, when I very started using this, they've, they've changed it. They've actually put in auto switching, which I think, for musicians is perfect. This box is not cheap. It is a professional alternative than taking your laptop, for example. Uh, and this currently retails in the UK for 1299. That's 1,299 pounds. The Yolo Live actually have three Yolo boxes. So this is the Pro, which has three HDMIs. There's also the normal one, which is just called Yolo Box, and that has two HDMIs. And they've just released the Yolo Box Mini, which has one HDMI and one USB in. Now the Yolo Box Mini might be all you need to get going, and all the same great great features are actually on the mini it's just a little bit of a smaller box and it retails ranging between sort of about 700 to around about 650 in the UK and this may be a complete answer than taking your laptop on stage the other thing as well is that it does have a battery so it is 10,000 milliamps and you can charge it with an external battery I've tried it so I've got another 10,000 milliamp battery pack which is one of those battery bricks and I've just plugged it in and it just started charging and I was using it whilst it was charging as well and that is really really handy for extended use. There is a fan built into this and the fan does kick in, you may hear it now. Depending on obviously what it's doing, if it's live streaming and it's got three HDMI ports in, the fan will kick in. And there is a little bit of noise there, but if you're using microphones that are pointing the other way, you shouldn't really pick that up. If you're in a really, really silent environment, you wouldn't be using this in that environment because you're using it live, you're using it maybe on stage, you're using it at a conference, you're using it in a live room. The fan noise is no louder than your average laptop. The other thing I would like to have seen in the box is we've got a connection here which is obviously for things like a tripod so I had a tripod like this like the Manfrotto one I can actually just screw this in it's just a camera mount and I can screw that in and of course I could hold that or what I could do is I could put that and stand that up somewhere nice and simple because I've got a ball head here but the thing I would have liked to have seen is because you can spin the screen round so you've got all your connections at the bottom I want that under there. Now, that's very difficult. Look at it. It's absolutely packed full of stuff. I don't know where they'd squeeze it in, but it'd be really, really useful to be able to do that. So your cable management would be really, really tidy. The other thing I said earlier on is Wi-Fi or 4G. The one thing I completely forgot to talk about is this. You've got full gigabit ethernet as well. So if you've got somewhere you can plug into a router, then you can actually do that right here and it'll just send that out. And that will be really, really useful. And the other thing as well is the USB out of this, you can actually have this as a webcam. So you could put this onto somewhere like Zoom. So if you're doing teaching, like music teaching, you could use this to do your switching and then plug this out to somewhere like Zoom or WebEx or whatever you're using to do your teaching. So what do I think of this? Well, I think it's absolutely fabulous and it should be because because it is a pro level solution. At 1299, you expect the best, and it really is 
top notch. It is fantastic and it's also incredibly simple and intuitive. You can use things like an uh, iPad or uh, a computer to live stream with things like OBS. You can do it completely free. You can do it with apps, but they're also designated to do lots of other things. This is designed to be your one-stop mobile streaming solution and it's an entire studio in a box, literally. You can plug in multiple devices. You can live stream to multiple places. I've done a live stream with it. It's fantastic. In fact, I've done a couple. I've been doing that in the garden. I've for taking it out to somewhere else. But think of it in a real world solution. Maybe you're at a wedding or you're at a conference you need to live stream or anywhere you need to live stream. Do you want to take your laptop on stage or do you want to take a dedicated box that is dedicated to do one job and one job very, very well? The team over at Yola Live are really receptive to feedback and they wanted to know what I thought about it from a musician's standpoint. The only caveat I have is it has one USB-A. I'd like to see a version of this maybe in the future that they actually reduce the amount of HDMIs but bring in more USB-A or even USB-Cs so you could plug in an iPhone or an iPad or maybe two iPhones without having to use adapters like HDMI adapters and you can plug them straight in and carry on going. Most people for live streaming will use cameras or use things like digital SLRs and that's absolutely fine. If you've got a duo or a band and each one of you's got a phone then technically you've got a camera and you could plug each one of those into this box and then you could start switching and playing around with it. You wouldn't have to carry a lot of cameras as well as your phone. So I'd like to see a version of this which was like a mobile mobile version where you can actually plug in USB-C, USB-A and maybe have one HDMI but you've actually got four USB-Cs in there or four USB-As whichever and then that way you can actually have them as cameras. With apps like Filmic Pro where you've got a clean HDMI out or clean out without showing you know the camera reticle or anything like that that's really really useful. But even without that this box is absolutely fabulous and I think it's one of these things which is a game changer for musicians or bands. If you want to invest in live streaming but you don't want to invest on in like a company to then come and round touring with you and live streaming, you could do it yourself. You could do it here and you can obviously do this in the comfort of your own home. You could do this at gigs. You could do this at conferences. You could do this in the field. You could do this at a festival. No problem because it's a box that is dedicated to do one job and as long as you've got 4G signal or a Wi-Fi, you can live stream. I'd like to thank Yola Live for sending this out to me, but also for the constant communication we've been having and really thank them for updating this with auto switching. If you're in the market for upgrading your live streaming equipment, most people then go, I need a laptop or I need a more powerful laptop or I need to get a different camera. What I'd suggest is keep the camera you've got and invest yourself into a YOLO live box. Now before you go, the webcam I plugged in is the OBS Spot Tiny. If you want to see a webcam that can track you while you're playing, then have a look at this video as I did a full review of the OBS Spot Tiny.